Well, there's been no traditional post-election honeymoon bounce for the Labour-led coalition government in our new Q&A One News Colmar Brunton poll. And despite not being able to form a government, National is standing strong with their support up 1.5% from election night. While the combined support for Labour, New Zealand First and the Greens stays pretty much the same. So to explain what the first poll since the election means, here's our political editor, Corin Dan. While Jacinda Ardern is clearly embracing some of the softer roles in her new job, her first six weeks as Prime Minister have been no walk in the park. With the task of bedding in a government made up of three parties not made any easier by an unusually large and still hurting National Party opposition intent on ensuring there's no honeymoon. And our first Q&A One News Colmar Brunton poll since the election shows National remains the largest party at 46%, up slightly on its election result of 44.4% of the vote. Labour has closed the gap slightly to be at 39%, up just over 2% on its election result. Its support partner, the Greens, are on 7%, up a tad on their election result of 6.3%. But Labour's coalition partner, New Zealand First, however, are at 5%, down over 2% on its election result of 7.2%. Top is at 1%, down from its election result of 24 while the Māori Party are steady on 1%. When it comes to seats in the House, National would have the most with 57. However, even with Acts 1, it would not be able to form a government. Labour would have 48 seats and along with the Greens 9 and New Zealand First 6 would have 63 seats. The same as the Labour-led coalition currently has in Parliament now. Back in 1999 and 2008, the incoming governments both saw big poll bounces after taking office. They've had such a messy start of not being able to do things they said they'd do. We're committed to earning people's support. We're going to do that over three years. As a new leader, Jacinda Ardern hit the ground running with a solid showing on the world stage at APEC in Vietnam. And when it comes to preferred Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern has opened up a big lead over Bill English. In this poll, she's on 37%, while Bill English is back on 28%. Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters is in third place on 5%. The focus now for Jacinda Ardern will be next week's mini-budget. Come in if you'd like. Which she'll be hoping can help win over those Kiwis still sceptical about her new government. Corin Dan, One News.